So hey guys, welcome to Proton Stock. The topic of today's video is Pythagorean theorem or Pythagoras theorem as you all might be knowing. So let me walk you through a quick introduction and a small history of this theorem and then we'll see the theorem and its proofs. So basically Pythagorean theorem is a fundamental relationship in geometry and it relates the three sides of a right angle triangle. Now for those people who don't know what's right angle triangle, it's a kind of triangle wherein one of the angles is 90 degrees. Okay. So that was a small introduction. We will go into the main theorem. Don't worry. Let me walk you through a small, inter uh, small history actually. So a lot of people generally associate this theorem with a Greek mathematician and philosopher named Pythagoras. And the name also comes from his name only. But recent proof says that this theorem existed in various civilizations way before Pythagoras himself. So for example, historians have found Babylonian tablets having detailed description of Pythagoras theorem and these tape tablets date back to 1900 to 1600 BC whereas Pythagoras was born in 490 BC only. He gave this theorem between 490 to 570 BC but these were way before him where it was 1900 to 1600 BC and the description of this theorem is also found in Indian book called Baudhayana Sulbha Sutra which was written between 800 to 400 BC which was before Pythagoras again. So this was a small history uh, okay and uh, now let's move to the theorem which is the main part here. So let's see the statement first. The statement of the theorem says that square of the side that is the hypotenuse which is the side opposite to the right angle is the sum of the square of other two sides okay so didn't understand that let's understand it with a diagram of right angle triangle okay so let's say this is a right angle triangle and this is a right angle let's name these vertices a b and c okay so first you need to know what is a hypotenuse right so as i told you that there is a 90 degree angle in right angle triangle and the side opposite to it is called the hypotenuse actually. Okay. Now let's say that this length of the hypotenuse is small c. And the length of this side is a. And the length of this side is b. Then the theorem says that c square is uh, that c square which is the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to a square plus b square. That is the sum of the squares of other two sides, the sides other than hypotenuse, right? So it's that's it, right? It's very simple theorem, nothing fancy here. It's just it just says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides in a right angle triangle. Okay, so that is it. Now there is another small concept uh, before going to the proofs. These are called as Pythagorean triplets, okay? So when you consider the set of integers z, there are some uh, numbers like some sets of three numbers which satisfy this Pythagorean theorem wherein c square is equal to a square plus b square. In the set, c is basically the largest number and a and b are the two other smaller numbers. So for example, 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triplet and you can see that we have 5 square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16 which is equal to 25 which is equal to 5 square and thus uh, 3 4 5 is a pythagorean triplet like that 5 12 13 7 24 25 8 15 17 and a lot of pythagorean triplets are there you see this concept uh, you know once in a while and here and there so you should know this right so that's why i'm telling you this this, this is also nothing fancy here. So those were the Pythagorean triplets. Uh, now let's move to the proofs actually. So as I have mentioned in the history that Pythagorean theorem originated in different places in different times. On the same lines the theorem also have different type of proofs. And in this video let's uh, we will be seeing only two proofs actually one is uh, algebraic method and one is similar triangles method. So let's see the algebraic method actually. Uh, now consider one right angle triangle whose, hy 
let me take a black pen here so that you can see clearly so consider this right angle triangle wherein right angle is here and hypotenuse is here and its length is c the length of other two sides is a and b okay if you take four such right angle triangles and form a square like this you can see that the side of the square s will be equal to c very easy right the, these are hypotenuse this is a hypotenuse this is a hypotenuse and this is a hypotenuse so the side of the square will be c obviously and the side of this inside uh, square the smaller square will be b minus a how you know that this length is a for this triangle and this length is b for this triangle so this length will be obviously b minus a okay now i wanted to find the area of this square now as you might be knowing that area of a square is s square which is side square here the side is c so it will be c square okay so c square is the area now i wanted to find the area in terms of b minus a okay so area uh, here in terms of b minus a will be the area of this square whose side is b minus a and the four right angle triangles basically now coming to this uh, small square we know that the side is b minus a so the area of that will be b minus a whole square now the remaining area will be this triangles area here one two three and four triangles and we know that the area of a right angle triangle is half a into b where a is base and b is height here so here there are four triangles like that so it will be four into half a b okay let's expand this and see what happens we get b square plus a square minus 2ab plus your two cancels this and two so it will be 2ab 2ab and plus 2ab minus 2ab gets cancelled and we get a square plus b square now see this is area the c square is also area and a square plus b square is also area so we can just equate it right c square is equal to a square plus b square simple isn't it and that proves pythagoras theorem if you carefully see here c is the hypotenuse of this triangle right I, I told you uh, at the beginning of the proof that c is the hypotenuse here and a and b are the other two sides so isn't it easy it just proves the theorem right so let's see the second proof which is a bit difficult to understand you need to have understanding of similar triangles actually so here what we did we basically took a right angle triangle uh just a second so we took a right angle triangle a b c here and we just drew a altitude from c onto a b and this point is h and this are right angles okay now from similar uh, triangles uh, theory we have a b c a c h and b c h so this is a c h and this is b c h and abc all of these three will be similar triangles now if you ask me how let me just give a quick explanation if we take abc and ach you you can see that a angle a is same here because they are sharing angle a and then abc have a right angle here 90 degrees angle and ach have a 90 degrees angle here and obviously the other angle will be same because a is some x and uh, both of them have 90 degrees so 90 degrees plus x plus something will be 180 so this something will be same for abc and ach so on the similar lines uh, abc and bch will also be similar right they also share one angle which is b and abc and bch both of them have a 90 degrees okay so uh, when two when two triangles are similar the ratios of respective sides is equal okay so from that uh, statement we get bc by ab is equal to bh by bc in abc and bch and when we take abc triangle and ach triangle we get ac by ab is equal to ah by ac you can just cross check these are respective sides on in two different uh, similar triangles and let's take equation 1 and this is equation 2 and when we cross multiply in equation 1 we get bc square is equal to 
a b into b h okay let's say this is 3 and when we cross multiply equation 2 we get a c square is equal to a b into a h let's say this is equation 4 now let's add equation 3 and 4 and let's see what happens it gives us b c square plus a c square is equal to a b into b h plus a b into a h right so you can see that a b is common here and let's take it out common a b into b h plus a h now in the diagram you can see that b b h plus a h so if you see this is bh and this is ah which will add up to ab again so this is ab again which gives you ab into ab which is ab square this is basically ab square is equal to bc square plus ac square you can see in that triangle that ab is hypotenuse and bc and ac are the other two sides because c is the right angle okay so this is not nothing but c square is equal to a square plus b square which c is the length of uh, hypotenuse and a and b are the lengths of other two sides which is the pythagorean theorem again it's just simple again you just have to know similar similar triangles and all uh, and all those concepts if you don't know just comment down below we'll make a detailed video about that as well so that was the second proof of uh, you know pythagoras theorem so we'll just uh, limit the proofs till here only there are a few other methods as well uh, you know which you can just uh, quickly search upon internet so let's see the applications uh, of pythagoras theorem so in mathematics we use pythagoras theorem a lot as we know we use it in right angle triangles that was what we are discussing all this time so we can use it to know whether a triangle is right angle triangle we can use it to know the hypotenuse of a triangle uh, of a right angle triangle and we can also use it in finding diagonal of a square so if you have basically a square or any square related shape like rectangle or anything i'm just taking a square here so we know that side is s and side is s let's say that diagonal is x so from pythagoras theorem we know that x square is equal to s square plus s square which will be x square is equal to 2s square and x which is a diagonal will be root 2 of s so it's just that simple we used uh, pythagoras theorem and we have the diagonal now this can be used in rectangle as well and any similar shapes right and in daily life also we use uh, this theorem a lot without knowing as well so we have 90 degrees in daily uh, life a lot and at a lot of places we use this theorem like in constructions in woodworks etc etc so like that those were the applications of pythagoras theorem now let's see two basic examples uh, which will make things clear for you okay so example number one it says that there are three points a b and c and these three points are the vertices of a right angle triangle and it says that the hypotenuse is a b so the point a and b the line joining point a and b becomes a hypotenuse so basically he's saying that the angle near c is 90 degrees now uh, the question asks about k so k is this one c zero k we need to find this uh, coordinate of c actually okay so let's take a right angle triangle okay now this is c this is b and this is a a is zero comma two and uh, c we know it's zero comma k and b is given to be minus two comma zero now we know that distance between two points is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square whole root of that so now i'm, now I'm not going to uh, solve for every distance i'm just going to quickly do it so this will be root of 2 square plus 2 square and this will be root of 0 plus k minus 2 whole square and this will be root of 2 square plus k square okay we know that a b square is equal to a c square plus b c square from pythagoras theorem so here we use pythagoras theorem okay so a b is basically root of 2 square plus 2 square uh, which is basically root of 8 now a b square will be 8 here 
and AC is root of 0 plus k minus 2 whole square which will be k minus 2 whole square so the square cuts root here and BC as we know it's root of 2 square plus k square and so root and square cancels out and we get 2 square plus k square okay so it's 8 is equal to k square plus 4 minus 4k plus 8 plus k square sorry plus 4 2 square is 4 here so this is basically 2k square uh, minus 4k and plus 8 so 8 8 gets cancelled and we get 2k square minus 4k is equal to 0 so that will be basically let me take it here so that will be basically k square minus 2k is equal to 0 which is k into k minus 2 is equal to 0 and this will happen only if k is equal to 0 or k is equal to 2 right so in c if we put k is equal to 0 this becomes 0 0 and if we put 2 this becomes 0 comma 2 okay so there are two possibilities but we know that a is already 0 2 so c can't be 0 2 and c should be 0 comma 0 only so k is basically 0 okay i hope you got the problem i just did it in a bit cluttered way i hope you understood it if you didn't just comment below i'll clarify it there right let's see the second and last uh, example so it says that find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle so it's not a right angle triangle here it's an equilateral triangle whose height is 60 centimeters so let's take an equilateral triangle and uh, let's say its uh, side is a and as we know this uh, for equilateral triangle all the sides are same so it's a a a and this is the height and in equilateral triangle height is the altitude as well so this is 90 degrees and the height in equilateral triangles also cuts the base in half so this will be a by 2 and this will be 60 now we we can we can see a right angle triangle here right this is 90 and this is hypotenuse so we have this okay so now a square will be equal to the square of other two sides which is 60 square plus a square by 4 okay so let's bring this towards this side it will be a square minus a square by 4 is equal to 3600 so 3a square by 4 is 3600 and uh, a square will be 3600 into 4 by 3 3 1200 so this will basically be a is equal to root of uh, 1200 into 4 so we found a here now as we found a the perimeter of the equal triangle is 3a basically it's a plus a plus a so that will be 3 into root of 1200 into 4 now if you want to solve this uh, we can just get 3 out uh, 100 outside here which will be 3 into 10 root 12 into 4 um, which will be 30 into we can get another 4 into 4 into 3 here so that will be 120 root 3 so 4 into 4 so 1 4 comes out to so the 4 square so 1 4 comes outside and this will be 120 root 3 centimeters so that is the perimeter I hope you understood this problem it's a simple problem just uh, finding uh, the side of equal triangle using the height using Pythagoras theorem as well so here we use Pythagoras theorem here and we got the side and then we just multiplied it by 3 and got the peri perimeter which is 120 to 3 centimeters All right so that's it for this video guys i hope you liked the video i hope you learned something about the theorem and if you did just give a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video thank you